Q&A. I'm your host, Nay. And I'm Eddie. And before we get to know our roles, let's meet our teams. I'm Frank Andriola. I'm Zach Ranitsky, and this is Team Blue Cowbells. <laughs> Great name. I'm Tyler Harper. I'm Anna Gomez, and we're Team Beyonce. Team Beyonce. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now before we play, we got to go over the rules to the game. We changed things up this year, so what we have are three rounds. Each round has four categories, and each category has three questions in it. Um, the first question is worth one point, two points, three points. The questions get progressively harder. Um, if your team gets to go first and you guys get the question right, you get to pick a category again, and you get to pick any question you want for any point value. Each round is timed, so after five minutes, if we're not through, we're just going to go on to our fast points round which each question will be worth one point, and the first team to ring in will get a chance to answer. The other team won't get a chance to answer if they don't ring in. We'll do round two, same thing as round one. Between rounds two and round three, another fast points round. Then we'll do round three. At the end of round three, one team is gonna be the winner. After that, after we determine who the winner is, we're gonna take a quick commercial break. We're gonna come back, and the two players on that team are gonna battle it out in a final face-off round to determine the ultimate winner of Q&A. <laughs> Are you guys prepared to play? Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Now to determine who goes first, Tyler, Zach, come on out. Rock, paper, scissors. Ready? Yep. Rock, paper, scissors. Shoot. Oh, there it is. We're going first. <laughs> team Beyonce <laughs> will get to go first. <laughs> Messed up. All right, Team Beyonce. So we're going to start you guys off with our round one. So let's go ahead and get that up. So your four category choices are water, Alfred Hitchcock, Canada, or Twitter? Um, what do you want? Water. <laughs> uh, we'll take water for one. Water for one. One water mo molecule is made up of three atoms connected by a covalent bond. The three atoms are A, one hydro hydrogen, two oxygen, B, two hydrogen, one oxygen, or C, two hydrogen or, and two oxygen. B. That is correct. So we want to stick with you guys. guys. And you get to pick again from any category, any point value. <laughs> want to go water again? Water two. Water for two. Access to safe drinking water has improved over the years. However, almost blank, people still lack access to safe drinking water. Is it A, 1 billion, B, 2.5 billion, or C, 945 million? I know. It's either, it's either B or C. Let's go with C. C is incorrect. So we're going to send that over to you guys, Blue Cowbells. Well, you told me the answer, so right. you We're going to go with A. A, one billion, is correct. <laughs> Two points. So we're going to move over to you guys now. Now you guys have the choice of the next category. Um, let's just finish water for three. All right, water All water right let's finish it out. Many scientists believe that water is present in the, in, I'm sorry, Enceladus, a moon of this planet. Is it A, Jupiter, B, Saturn, or C, Mars? I think it's C. I mean, that's All the right. only planet we've been looking at. <laughs> All right, C. C is incorrect. Yeah, I knew it too. I'll send it over to you guys. Can you repeat the question? Yes, we can repeat the question. Many scientists believe that water is present on Enceladus, a moon of this planet. Is it A, Jupiter, B, Saturn, or C, Mars? Um, let's go with Jupiter. Let's go with Jupiter. Jupiter is incorrect as well. So that Saturn. means the correct answer was Saturn. The only one not guessed, but that's okay. So we're, we're going to send go it back, back to you guys, you guys since nobody got it correct. Uh, Canada for one. Let's go for Canada it, man. For let's, go, let's go with Canada. Canada for one, okay. The Canadian capital, Ottawa, is located in this province where the provincial capital is Toronto. Is it A, Ontario, B, Quebec, or C, Alberta? You're the Canada expert. C. C is not correct. <laughs> Some Canada expert. Can you repeat the question again? <laughs> yes, we can repeat the question again. The Canadian capital, Ottawa, is located in this province where the provincial capital is Toronto. Is it A, Ontario, B, Quebec, or C, Alberta? I believe that's A, Ontario. It is A, Ontario. One mm, point. Looks like Ooh. someone is uh, the new <laughs> Canada expert. Didn't even talk to me. <laughs> All right, so you guys are going to get the pick. You have the choice between Alfred Hitchcock, Canada, and Twitter. Uh, let's go Canada, too. All right. All right. 
Canada is the world's second largest country by A, land area, B, population size, or C, total area? We're going to go with A, land area. That is incorrect. What do you guys have to say? Do we tell them? Uh, um, you know, that's rude. Um, I, say, I was going to say C. C is correct. Total area. <laughs> Two points for blue cowbells. You guys are going to get to pick again. Let's finish off Canada since there's a third one. <laughs> All right. We'll finish out the Canada category. For three points, Canada was adopted as the legal name for the country in A, 1861, B, 1864, or C, 1867. I would say B. B. B is wrong. What do you guys have to say? Um, Let's just wait. go with A. A, final answer, incorrect. Correct answer was C, 1867. It looks like time's up for round one, so we're going to go right into our fast points round. In this round, what you guys are going to have to do, I'm going to read the question. You're going to have five seconds to ring the cowbell. If you are the first team to ring it. We'll go to you. If you get it right, you get one point. If you get it wrong, we're just going to move on to the next question. It's going to be a nice quick round. Get you guys some ready? So here we go with the first fast points round. Question one. What is the name of the largest freshwater lake in the world? Crater Lake. Incorrect. It's Lake Superior. Question two. Where would you find the Sea of Tranquility? Time's up. The correct answer is the moon. Question three, name the seventh planet from the sun. Yes. Is it Uranus? Yes, it is. <laughs> One point for Blue Cow. Sweet. Question four, which is the only US state to begin with the letter P? US state. <laughs> Time's up. <laughs> You just missed the time right there. It's Pennsylvania, guys. I was like, <laughs> I was like what? We are in Pennsylvania. I can't believe that. That was a total that brain fart. <laughs> All right, question five. What is the name of the world's largest island? Yes? Is it Australia? Incorrect. Greenland. It's an island. Question six. What is the capital city of Spain? Madrid. It is Madrid. One point for Beyonce. <laughs> that sounds so funny to say. Question seven. Which actress has won the most Academy Awards? Meryl Streep. Incorrect. Katherine Hepburn. Question eight. Who played Neo in The Matrix? Keanu Reeves. Correct. One point for Blue Cowbells. Question nine. How many times did Bjorn Borg win the Wimbledon Singles Championship? Five. Five is correct. <laughs> that was beautiful. And the final question in the fast points round. Which chess piece can only move diagonally? That was Frank. Bishop. Bishop is correct. So with that, we're going to move right into round two. We can start now. All right, so we're moving into round two. So we're going to keep it up with you guys now. So your chooses are Vladimir Putin, colors, World Cup, or weather. Um, let's go with World Cup. Four. Uh, that's a good point. Uh, let's go with one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, the FIFA FI World Cup for soccer has been held every four years since 1930. Only this team has played in every tournament and in addition won five championships. Is it A, Brazil, B, Germany, or C, Italy? Uh, I'm going to go with B, Germany. That is incorrect. Come on, it's Brazil. Answer. Brazil is correct. Yeah. Brazil. One point for you guys, and which would you like to pick? Uh, let's go World Cup 2. World Cup for two. The most recent FIFA World Cup was held this year. How many countries were eligible for qualification for the final in Brazil? Was it A, 204, B, 213, or C, 209? What do you think? No idea. I'm feeling B. I'm feeling B. Let's try B. B is not right. I'm very sorry. I'm sorry. gonna go with C. C is right. <laughs> Two points for blue cowbells. 
So now we're sticking with you guys. Blue cowbells, what's next? Uh, I'm switching up the colors, man. I don't, I don't like the World Cup too much. <laughs> colors for one. I thought you were going to give me a chance, you know, to say it right. I'm not a soccer person. Sorry, <laughs> fans at home. <laughs> colors for one? Yeah. All right. The science of color has multiple names. Which one of the following is not one of those names? <laughs> is it A, chromatics, B, spectrum identification, or C, color elementary? C, colorimetry. That is incorrect. Surprising incorrect. <laughs> then um, that is a B? B, B final B. answer? B. Correct. Good job, guys. Thank you. <laughs> 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 you would think, you would think so, but it's not about making sense, surprised. it's about the correct answer. Right but you guys get the pick. Colors two. Colors two. Colors for two. The four typical pairings of color blindness are red green, black white blue orange and A, yellow violet, B, blue green, or C, yellow brown? Let's go with yellow violet, because they're, the, uh, they're the complementary colors. So. I believe her yellow violet. She knows what she's talking about, that's correct. <laughs> awesome. Two points for Beyonce. <laughs> and you guys are gonna get the pick again. Color three? Let's do it. Colors for three. Go ahead, Amy. <sighs> All right. A phenomenon where the hue of a color is dependent on concentration and or thickness of the absorbing substance is known as A, diffraction, B, tindalism, or C, dichromatism. Should I say tindal second? I don't know. That's a tough one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> diffraction, diffraction, well, diffusion is bringing together, so let's go with diffraction. Let's diffraction go with is incorrect. Very sorry. We're um, going to take a wild guess on B. B is also incorrect. It I was going to say it's C, but th <laughs> thank you for that, Zach. Thank you. <laughs> oh, we discussed this. Uh, you, you let the blue cowbells like down. That's how I okay. discussed first. No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, since none of you guys got it right, you guys are going to get to pick again. Let's finish off World Cup. All right. All right. The inaugural FIFA World Cup tournament was held in 1930 in this country. Is it A, Brazil, B, Uruguay, C, Switzerland? A, Brazil? Incorrect. I, I, would, I would think soccer is more famous than Uruguay, so I would, I would recommend that one, but I'm leaving it totally up to you. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to go with B. That is correct. B is correct. Right. Three points for me, Cowbells. Sticking with you guys. We've got about a minute next? left in this uh, round. Right, which one? Let's go a little political here and go Vladimir Putin for three. <laughs> Whoa. Let's just jump right Vladimir in. Vladimir Putin for three. Married for nearly 31 years, Putin divorced this woman in April 2014. Was it A, Alina Kabayeva, B, Victoria Medvedchuk, or C, Ludmila Shrebneva? You know, I actually knew this like three months ago, but I think it's C or A, so is that well, a pick, pick one? one of them. <laughs> a. A. a is incorrect. Oh, um. No idea. Let's let's try C since they said it was either C, C. Is, is correct. correct. <laughs> Thank you, Frank. <laughs> Such a shame. We should have just said C. See, now so we're gonna you're give now three you points sure to, let him to Beyonce, it. and that means we're gonna have to go right into our next fast points round. All right, fast points. I like these questions. questions. They're easier. <laughs> Question number one: Who is the former Eagles quarterback? Michael Vick. Michael Vick is correct. Question number two. What year did the 76ers win the NBA championship? 1983. That is correct. Question number three. Can a horse vomit? <laughs> no. That is correct. <laughs> Question number four. What year was the game Twister introduced? 1985. Incorrect. The correct answer is 1966. Oh. Question number five. Who was originally casted to play the Terminator? Sylvester Stallone. That's incorrect. It was O.J. Simpson. I was close. But they turned <laughs> him down because they thought he wouldn't like be scary enough. <laughs> so. They were wrong. <laughs> <laughs> they were very wrong. <laughs> okay, question number six. What color does the two colors, red and white, combined make? Pink. That's correct. Question number seven. When does the NBA season begin in 2014? October, do you need a date? October yeah. 27th? Very close, oh. it was October 28th. Oh. Good try. <laughs> Question number eight. Who performed at the Super Bowl of 2013? 
don't, I don't even have a clue. Yep. It wasn't Beyonce, was it? It was. It was. <laughs> I would think that you would oh, spit that out, but... He was, he was asking a question. That wasn't an answer. He was, it was Beyonce. Beyonce, final answer, yes. Okay, I question tried. number nine. Which music yeah. group was Justin Timberlake originally in? sync. Yes. yes. You got that one, but not Beyonce. <laughs> and to finish it off, question number 10. How many championships have the 76ers won? I heard Zach first. Two. No, no, three, 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 three. No, three, you can't change back. your answer. <laughs> well, he didn't say final answer. Three, final answer. Okay, go ahead. We'll give it to you. <laughs> so that All wraps right. up our fast points for this round. So now we're going to head see. right into round three. Let's see who we're going to give the first things first. Our scorekeepers tying up the scores. It's 15-15. <laughs> It's getting intense. You guys better jump to all the three points. We gave it to them first last round, so we're going to give it to you guys first this round. Okay. So your categories to choose from are the Philadelphia Eagles, Will Smith, Deshaun Jackson, and instruments. Isn't Deshaun Jackson an, a Philadelphia Eagle? Formerly. Oh, formerly. <laughs> uh, let, let's take Deshaun Jackson for one. All right, Deshaun Jackson for one. Deshaun Jackson transitioned to the NFL after playing for this college. Is it A, the University of California? B, Temple University, C, North Carolina State University. That was A, the University of California. Very That's correct. correct. I think we're going to blow this Sticking with Yeah, I think I'll be blowing this round too. Well, <laughs> you just want to blow keep, this one out? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so Deshaun Jackson for two. The former Philadelphia Eagle now calls this team his home franchise. Is it A, Washington Redskins, B, Dallas Cowboys, or C, Baltimore Ravens? A, the Washington Redskins. Correct. That is correct. This is unfair. <laughs> 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 this is just how the game works. <laughs> you guys are going to get to pick again. Let's finish the category. All right, Deshaun Jackson for three points. One of the fastest players in the NFL, Deshaun Jackson runs the 40-yard dash in A, 4.4 seconds, B, 4.35 seconds, C, 4.10 seconds. I'm going to go with B, 4.35. That's correct. That's did right. You know that I don't think did you think guess? you would know that one, but that was good. Rough guess. <laughs> If you so knew that, that would be scary. Want to go to Will Smith? All right, so we exhausted the Deshaun Jackson category. Let's go Will Smith for one. All right, Will Smith for one. Will Smith rose to stardom on this 1990s family sitcom. Is it A, Martin, B, The Cosby Show, or C? You okay? Come on, <laughs> Or C, The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air? It's C. The Fresh Prince That is correct. Correct. All right. Will Smith, too. Will Smith for two. Smith is married to and has three children with this woman. Is it A, Kerry Washington, B, Beyonce Knowles, C, Jada Pinkett? <laughs> C, Jada Pinkett. Jada Pinkett is correct. You got dinged. Two points. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are blowing through this. Considering right, she hyphenates her last again. name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys get to pick your next one. Let's finish Will Smith. All right, Will Smith for three. In his 90s sitcom, Smith's character called his best friend A, Frankie Frank, B, Jazzy Jeff, or C, Carlton Bankster. B, it's jazz. Yes, it is. Three points for you guys. Wow, you're absolutely running away with this. Right? <laughs> but per the rules, you guys get to pick again. Right? Can we, can we do instruments? Let's do instruments. Instruments for how much? One. Instruments for one. The blank is known for being the deepest out of all orchestral instruments. Is it A, the violin, B, the cello, or C, the bass? The bass. C. C. That's correct. That's correct. Yeah. Is it? <laughs> I'm all about that bass. <laughs> <laughs> you guys get to pick again. Instruments too. I don't like this round. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. Instruments for two. The blank is known as the single reed staple in jazz bands. Is it A, clarinet, B, saxophone, or C, flute? B, the saxophone. saxophone. That's correct. That's Sticking correct. with you guys. All right, we have time for about one more question. Let's finish instruments. Let's do it. All right, finish instruments. The xylophone belongs to this group of instruments. Is it A, woodwind, B, brass, or C, percussion? That would be percussion. That would be correct. Thank you. <laughs> Three points for you guys. You guys set this up. <laughs> this was not staged in any way at all. You know, it's hot on the set, but I didn't even break a sweat. It to go right to the instrument. <laughs> all right, so I'm, I'm a musician. Picking so up 18 <laughs> points in that round, Team Beyonce. So you guys won the team portion of this, 33 to 15. <laughs> We're going to take a quick break, and we're going to come back, and you guys are going to face off against each other. So stick around, guys. We'll be right back. <laughs> mm.
welcome back to Q&A. So now we're ready for our face-off round. In this round, we now have just one team left, and we divided them, and now they're going to compete against each other, so we only have one ultimate winner. The ultimate winner. All right. <laughs> Let's do it. You want to take it off, Eddie? Yeah. All right, so you guys are going to have uh, five seconds to ring in. If you guys uh, don't get the question right, the other person will get a chance to answer, okay. unlike the fast points round. So okay. question one. What is the name of the show you're currently contesting on? Anna had it first. Q&A. Q&A is correct. One point for Anna. Question two. What month is Columbus Day celebrated in? Anna had it first again. September. September is correct. <laughs> Question three. True or false, November is Peanut Butter Lovers Month. That's true. True is correct. One point for Tyler. <laughs> Question four. How many hours a day does a cat sleep? Tyler had it first. Ten. Incorrect. Eighteen. Eighteen is correct. It's sixteen to eighteen. To be more specific, but eighteen is the Whatever, answer. I was off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, question five. True or false? The Dr. Seuss book, If I Ran the Zoo, coined the word nerd. False. False is incorrect. True. Easy points. Right there. <laughs> Come on. Easy points right there. Talk about a layup. That's true. She gets the point. Question six. Roughly how many McDonald's are there worldwide? Yep. Three million? Three million is not correct. Ten million? Ten million is also incorrect as well. It's thirty five thousand. <laughs> <laughs> You would think Next it'd be question. a whole lot, but I guess it is still be uh, more. a decent amount. What is it, like five in like a mile radius? Yeah. yeah. All right, question seven. What road does the Blue Line service on the SEPTA subway in Philadelphia run? The Market Frankfurt Line. Correct. Market Street. Do you travel on the subway a lot? Yeah. You do? No, do you actually go? I don't, but... You just lied to my face. <laughs> <laughs> you lied and then immediately told the truth. Unbelievable. All right, we're going to move to question eight. Where is the Statue of Liberty? Tyler had that it's New York City. No. New York City is correct. New Jersey. I'm, so, I'm getting told that the correct answer is New Jersey. <laughs> so here's what I'm going to do. I thought it was New York, so I'm going to give you the point. Anyway. Thank you. I'm not going to compensate you with a point. Okay? I was going to say New Jersey. I'm already down. Let's, well, let's <laughs> help me out here a little bit. Let's make this game competitive. <laughs> because we thought it was New York. And he it's between New York and New Jersey. Answer. It's between the two. All right, I have the point. Can we finish my company, please? <laughs> <laughs> We're giving the point to Tyler. <laughs> All right, question nine. Which state in the United States is shaped like a boot? <laughs> and I have that one. Louisiana. Louisiana is correct. Could you tell me which country is shaped like a boot for zero points? Italy. Italy, but you don't get any. I wasn't going to ring in on the question for zero points. <laughs> All right. We're going to go on to question 10 right now. Who won on the latest episode of Q&A? Steve Graham and Tommy McIntyre. That is incorrect. Oh. Tommy McIntyre. Tommy McIntyre is also incorrect. <laughs> it was just Steve Graham. Oh. Since we changed That's it, right. We changed the format. format. Only one person wins in the end, so you had the correct team. But no dice, I know. Steve dominated Tommy in the final round. <laughs> I, I know Tommy's the feeling. Tommy's here right now. He was <laughs> I know the feeling, Tommy. <laughs> All right, so looking at the score, looks like Anna scored six, Tyler scored two. Congratulations, Anna. <laughs> you have won this second episode of Q&A. Woo! <laughs> You'll be an answer to a question. <laughs> Right. All right, guys. Thank you so much for coming on. Really enjoy your company. And for those of you at home, if you want to hang out with us more, check us out on Facebook at LaSalle TV. Follow us on Twitter at LaSalle TV Philly. Or you can email us at LaSalle TV at LaSalle.edu. Thanks for watching. You hope you guys continue to. <laughs>